All right, let's uh, start this one now. This uh, uh, this RC uh, is about uh, the civil rights movement, and uh, since I am uh, not from United States, I'm from India, so I I have tried to read about this thing, uh, and I've developed uh, some idea about what was civil war. Now uh, this uh, topic fits into the 27 areas of free knowledge that I have been talking with you, and. Uh, Let's uh, try to solve it. Now, this is, uh, is, this is a smaller RC. It has two paragraphs. We are going to read the first line three times of each paragraph, and we are going to deploy our external knowledge and common sense as well. And then we are going to use the three methods for eliminating or uh, picking the options. <coughs> so let's start with. The 1960s witnessed uh, two profound social movements, uh, the civil rights movement and the movement uh, protesting the war in Vietnam. The 1960s witnessed two profound social movements, uh, the civil rights movement and the movement protesting the war in Vietnam. The 1960s uh, witnessed uh, two profound uh, social movements, the civil rights movement and the movement protesting the war in the Vietnam. Now, uh, Vietnam war has been one of the uh, most deadly war that the U.S. has played and uh, it has got... Uh, uh, the U.S. got huge casualties in that war, and the social movement, the civil rights movement, is about uh, getting equal rights to the African American. So these are the two very important uh, historical uh, <coughs> events for the U.S. So these, uh, of course, we must know about these areas. These comes into the seven uh, basic areas. Okay. <coughs> although is a trigger. Although. They overlapped in time, they were largely distinct. So, although gives us a trigger that they happened at the same time, they were largely distinct. for a brief moment in 1960. However, it appeared that uh, they might unite under uh, the leadership of Martin Luther King Jr. Now, Martin Luther King Jr. is another very important character in the US history. So, for a brief time, however, however, is another trigger. So, you know, these triggers, these commas, a little bit about knowledge, all these makes life very simple for us. Okay, let's move to the next. King roles in the anti movement appears to uh, require little expansion since he was the foremost advocate of non-violence of his time. King's war in the anti movement appears to require little attention since he was the foremost advocate of non-violence of his time. King's role in the anti movement appears to require little expansion since he was the foremost advocate of non-violence at that time. Now, we always know that uh, King was a a great uh, devotee of, uh, or uh, he, he respected Mahatma Gandhi and he, uh, he, he read the uh, theory of Ahimsa, which means non-violence. So, we know this thing. So, but King's stance on the Vietnam norm cannot be explained in terms of pacifism alone. But, but, but is a trigger. So, but changes the direction that no, non-violence cannot explain uh, this alone. After all, he was uh, something of late uh, corner, a late comer to the anti-war movement, even though 1965 was convinced that the role of U.S. in the war was indefensible. Why then two years that passed before did he translate his uh, private misgivings into the public ascent? Question mark. So this question mark should be read in terms of the question mark. When we use question mark, when we use trigger, these should be read in a way that why, 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 why question mark. So you should uh, train your mind to read the ways. Don't read as is like this. Why then two years after the passage? Before, don't, don't read like this. Whenever there is a question mark, whenever there is a trigger, you have to focus on that. Perhaps he believed that he could not uh, criticize American uh, following foreign policy without entering the support for civil rights he had won for the federal government. So, of course, he did not want to take the risk of uh, uh, indulging into this sensitive area of criticizing American foreign policy when he was on uh, war for civil uh, rights for the African American at, at that time also. So this is the reason why he came two years late. So this paragraph is fair enough. Very simple. Let's move ahead. According to the passage, the delay referred in the lines 12 to 13 is particular to which of the following kings ambivalent concerning uh, the role. Okay, so we got uh, a little bit of this idea. So according to the passage, the delay referred to in lines uh, twelve to uh, perhaps at which of the following following kings ambivalent concerned uh, the role of United in a war. No, King's attempt to console, consolidate support for his leadership within the civil Yes, this, this seems uh, fair enough. Uh, King's desire to keep the leadership of civil rights men distinct from the death of anti-war women. Again, seems fair enough. Uh, ambivalence concerning the role of... No, no, he, A goes out. We have B and C. Seems fair enough. 
king's desire to draw support from the civil rights movement from the leadership of anti war movement king desire to draw the support from no king did not desire he was a ardent supporter so king's uh, reluctance to jeopardize federal support for the civil rights yes he seems uh, the best because what i told you that he did not want to get into this two dimensional war where he is fighting the foreign policy and is fighting the uh, a civil rights movement as well so he makes the thing uh, quite complete that uh, he was uh, he cannot put the things in danger now bc seems a little bit uh, 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 same but uh, you know king's desire to keep the leadership of the civil rights movement it's not about leadership king's attempt to consolidate support for his leadership within he he, he never cared about his leadership he just wanted uh, all great men never care whether they are leader or not they care more about their intensive so king the great man he was he never cared uh, uh, support for the uh, his leadership or all those kind so he seems to be uh, the best option here let's move to the next question okay so the next question says that the author claim that king's stance on the vietnam cannot be explained in terms of pacifism alone by uh, uh, by implying which of the following there is little evidence that king was ever a student of pacifist doctrine Uh, kings despite pacific sympathies was not convinced that the foreign policy of uh, the government it was wrong kings belief in non violence was formulated in terms domestical but in the uh, head kings action be used up as he would have joined that or the opponent to okay now uh, uh, it's a, it's a tricky one uh, just be careful let's try to eliminate option there is little evidence that king was ever a student of pacific oh, this is very wrong the king has always been we we understand this part king despite uh, passive sympathies was not convinced that oh, he was convinced it's mentioned specifically in the paragraph even though we read it once king's belief in non violence was formulated in terms of domestic policy rather than no he was he was supporter of non violence he, he took the idea of non violence uh, uh, from uh, globally so we understand this part uh, quite clearly had king's action based on pacifism he would have joined the anti war movement earlier yes 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 this uh, this seems fair enough because uh, If, if you if you support uh, non violence then it has to be always it, it should be uh, pervasive in your approach so uh, had uh, his action based on pacific would an op- opponents of united states was then the felony convinced kings no 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 this, they never talk about the opponents of foreign policy so uh, kings cannot explain in pacifism alone because there were other reason why he was not supporting the war because he did not want to geo partners uh, Uh, his uh, civil rights movement so that why so this is uh, d as the right answer which uh, takes into care all of them let's move to the next one uh, which of the following can be inferred from the passage about uh, the movement opposing the war in vietnam it preceded the civil rights movements it began in 1965 it was uh, it was supported by uh, mainly who otherwise who support public dissent uh, it drew support from now uh, let's eliminate things uh it preceded the civil war movement no it began in 1965 opposing the vietnam war no it was opposed by many who otherwise support public no 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 this this is of course going out of scope see it drew support from most civil right uh, leaders uh, this seems fair enough it was well underway by 1967 yes it was well underway by 1967 is the closest one Though D seems to be a close one, it uh, drew support from civil rights uh, leaders. But uh, uh, you, w- what is basically inferred is that uh, in 1967 it was uh, at its peak when uh, King joined it after two years. So uh, E is the best option here. Okay, let's move to the next one and the last one. Which of the following best describes the passage? It discusses an apparent inconsistency and suggests a reason for it. Fair enough. This this is the thing. it outline sequence of historical no no it's it's not about historical it's always uh, using trigger it is always using some logic it is giving some reason that why he was uh, doing in a way so it it is not just historical event it goes uh, to basic so this becomes very basic it shows why a commonly held view is inaccurate fair enough let's keep this for a while it evaluates an explanation and finally accepts that like no no explanation it is evaluating it rather than it is giving an explanation it contrast uh, two views of issue no it, it it's it's not about two views it's about uh, uh, something which is seen uh, and uh, which has seen and is which is seen as uh, inconsistent that on one way he is pacifist and uh, 
on other way why he waited so long to actually uh, go against the uh, american foreign policy on vietnam so the best option here is uh, that uh, a because other goes eliminated so a is the best option here that uh, it discusses an apparently uh, inconsistency and suggests a reason why king joined in uh, two years later so uh, this is the uh, rc now uh, this rc uh, is a smaller one rather but uh, this rc is on the us uh, uh, combining the two uh, important aspects of uh, us history one is the civil rights uh, and uh, there is the vietnam uh, war of course uh, civil right and the african american movement has been one of the most crucial movement we must always read about it and uh, the vietnam war has been one of the deadliest uh, war so we must read about it and uh, the vietnam war has been quite an interesting thing on the policies of vietnam of how they drew the us soldiers inside their country and the casualties were increasing i saw a couple of movies on the vietnam war as well so i was aware of this topic i am a great fan of martin luther king because he is the mahatma gandhi of uh, us he is the b r ambedkar of us like b r ambedkar brought uh, the rights uh, of the backward classes in india he bought the rights of the uh, african americans uh, who were treated uh, very badly so uh, all, all these things you must know and when you have these things in mind you understand uh, the personality and he is like mahatma gandhi of usa so you can of course understand uh, the kind of uh, things that are going to happen so of course extra knowledge pre knowledge what i have been talking about helps in these kind of rc uh, you can join in my class of the extra knowledge or you can yourself read or download my presentation on extra knowledge uh, or the common knowledge that you need to solve the answer so i'll end the paragraph now for more details you can check out my class it's uh, uh, www.freegrgmatclass.com or you can look uh, at the link uh, below this video thank you for uh, solving this essay with me and the best of luck for your exam